Good evening and welcome to the 2021 Central Unified State of the District. My name is Emmy Monroe. I am a senior at Central East High School and the ASB president. I am proud to be here and honored to represent my school and the student body. I want to thank all of you for joining us virtually as we celebrate the school district's accomplishments. While this may be my last year with the Central Unified School District, and yes, it is bittersweet. I'm excited to see what the future holds, not only for me, but this district I have called home for the last 13 years. Throughout my student career, I have enjoyed the overwhelming school spirit displayed by staff and students and our district's diverse culture. I hope through our virtual stay of the district, you are able to feel the same sense of pride I have over the years. Before we can reach the finish line, like I'm about to very soon, we all have to start somewhere. And for many of us, that is preschool. At this time, I would like to introduce Miss Wilson and her preschool class to lead us in the flag salute, followed by a performance of My Country, Tis of Thee by the Glacier Point Choir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Emmy, our preschoolers and our choir students. What a way to kick off an event. Good evening and welcome Central Unified family. The Foundation for Central Schools is honored each year to collaborate with Central Unified to present the state of the district. This year's fundraising efforts are thanks to the contributions of our community and the Central Unified staff. It's because of you that we are able to grow and support student development and achievement here at Central Unified. That also means helping our students be classroom ready with school clothing and a warm sweater or coat for winter. With that, our annual Warm for Winter event, previously known as Coats for Kids, is here. This year, 2,000 students will benefit from this amazing program. We are grateful more than ever for our continued partnership with Granville Homes and new this year, the Assistance League of Fresno. If you know of a Central Unified student in need of clothing or outerwear for the winter, please contact the Foundation for Central Schools for additional information. Mark your calendar. The annual Holiday Joy Food Drive will take place on December 19th at Central East High School. Our food collection will start in November, and we encourage you to donate canned goods and dry food that will help curate holiday meals. Last year, we fed over 2,600 Central Unified students and families. Please look out for communication via Parent Square and Facebook in the coming months. This spring, the Janessa Ramirez Scholarship Program will grow again. 
a total of 25,000 in scholarship will be awarded to deserving seniors. Since 2017, these scholarships have brought awareness to gang violence and have kept Janessa's memory alive through the gift of higher education. As of today, $77,500 have been awarded to deserving students, helping them pursue their education goals. The Janessa Ramirez Scholarship application will be available on our website, centralfoundation.org in February. You must be a Central Unified Senior to apply and a total of 10 recipients will be chosen this school year. Hi Central family, my name is Isabella Aguila and I'm a recently graduated alumni from Central High School East Campus. I was one of seven selected to receive the 2021 Janessa Ramirez Scholarship. With my $2,500 scholarship, I was able to pay for tuition and books at San Jose State University, where I'm currently studying communications. Without this scholarship, it may have not been possible. Through the power of the Foundation for Central Schools and this scholarship program, I encourage many Central Unified students to take the time and apply. Strive to keep Janessa's memory alive. In my application, I shared my ideas about starting a Central Grizzly Mentor Program that is district-wide. It would help educate young Central Unified students about gang violence and advocate students to get involved in extracurriculars at a young age. It is my hope that you will step up to the challenge and make my ideas into a reality. I encourage the class of 2022 to apply for this scholarship and get involved in the Central community. Thank you. Last but not least, a big thank you to everyone who purchased a Granville Home of Hope ticket. We are only a few days away from the grand prize drawing of a brand new Granville Home at Copper River Ranch. We are so proud to be a beneficiary. 100% of our ticket sales that came through the district office will stay right here with us here at Central Unified, making an impact and helping us continue building a foundation for our students' future. At this time, I would like to introduce the Foundation for Central Schools Chairperson, Mr. Joe Doyland. Thank you for that introduction, Serena. I'm honored to serve as the Chairperson for the Foundation for Central Schools and Director of the Board since 2007. I'm amazed at the growth that the foundation has made over the years, and that's thanks to you, our continued sponsors, and especially our Central Unified Monthly Employee donors. With your help, the foundation increased monetary donations to its core pillars once again, agricultural, athletics, arts, and academics. Collectively, we received $24,000 in funding for the 21 and 22 school year. To date, over $320,000 has been donated to support programs like FFA Banquets and Awards, Science Fair, Middle School Choir and Percussion Ensemble, Young Authors Fair, and much more. Our grant opportunities have also expanded this year. We recently launched textbook grant program for juniors and seniors enrolled in City College enrichment courses. We are thankful to our newest partners, Engineered Industrial Products, for their donations to establish and fund these grants. As of today, 35 students have benefited during the first semesters of course. Since our founding year, we have strived to fund classroom project grants and new teacher grants. I can still remember in the beginning, we were given small amounts to help fund supplies and enrichment materials for our teachers. Last year, during a non-traditional school year, our teachers had to think outside the box and create one-of-the-kind virtual learning lessons to keep students engaged. Our STEM and science teachers had to provide home kits and hands-on learning. English teachers and librarians had to access literature and digital paperback books for all students. Our music and dance programs had to provide technology and supplies to their students, just like last year's grant recipient, Mrs. Gonzalez. The grant allowed us to actually buy 40 additional skirts so we could check them out to students and they took them home and they practiced. We, they learned the dances very, very well and we were actually able to put on three shows during distance learning because the students had a chance to um, learn at home and to practice with the skirts. Thanks to the grant.
On behalf of the Foundation for Central Schools, we'd like to thank all of our teachers for their hard work and the dedication they have poured into their students and this school district, even during these most difficult times. The board is honored to help our classroom project grants. This year, we increased our grant amount to $20,000, and today, we announce our grant recipients. Congratulations! Hello, my name is Ketty Davis and I'm the Acting Superintendent for Central Unified School District. I personally want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to join us virtually for this year's State of the District. The choice to go digital was not an easy one, but we knew it was the right decision for our community. Only together can we slow and reduce the spread of COVID-19. The pandemic has changed the world around us and nearly every aspect of our lives. It's been such a difficult adjustment for so many of us, but our Central Unified family has proven time and time again that we are resilient. Even in the most challenging of times, we've accomplished so much. So many of you have stepped up to make this happen, from our educators, to our parents, to you, our donors and sponsors. I would now like to acknowledge our Foundation Board of Directors for their dedication and hard work. Thank you, Chairman Joe Doyland. Director and Board President Yesenia Carrillo, Brett Caton, Sarah Ruiz, and Corbin Gunstring, as well as Foundation Executive Director Serena Dohi, Communications and Public Relations Officer Gilbert Magallon, and Social Media Specialist Oligario Tapia Solis. As Joe previously shared, the Foundation and all of our sponsors are contributing to programs that directly benefit our students and teaching staff. To learn more about the various activities and programs that the Foundation supports, please go to the centralfoundation.org website. I also want to take a moment to recognize our Board of Trustees for their leadership and support in the reopening of our schools. Thank you, President Yesenia Carrillo, Vice President Richard Solis, Clerk Sean Brooks, Trustee Philip Cervantes, Nandeep Singh Chan, Jeremy Mailing, and Jason Paul. I'd also like to thank my team for their commitment to our Central Unified families and their contributions to our district's success. Thank you Assistant Superintendents Jack Collegian and Steve McLean, Area Administrators Tammy Boatwright, Jeff Garrett, and Robert Perez. Your support has been paramount during these unprecedented times. Thank you also to our union leadership, CUDA President Judy Martinez and CSEA President Philip Chacon, and to your teams. Lastly, I'd like to recognize our city and educational leaders, especially those who represent our school district. Thank you, Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, Jim Yavino, Fresno County Board Supervisor for District 1, Brian Pacheco, Fresno City Council Member for District 1, Esmeralda Soria, for District 2, Mike Carbasi, and District 3, Miguel Arias. Thank you for diligently serving our community. As we've already heard, the Foundation is committed to our students by supporting Central Unified's four pillars, academics, arts, agriculture, and athletics. This last school year was no exception, even while navigating uncharted territory. Most of us had to break from the norm and work, teach, and learn from home but still we have so much to be proud of. For academics, we started and ended the 2020-21 school year in distance learning. There were some setbacks, but we have so much to be proud of. Some families expressed wanting to keep their students on campus, while others wanted to keep them home. To meet these needs, we implemented several different learning modals, including packets, distance learning, cohorts, and hybrid. This also led to the creation of our Central Online Homeschool, which continues to be a valuable resource for our school district. 
Despite one of the most difficult times in history of the district, almost three out of four students still improved academically. As measured by their iReady scores last year, 71% of our students improved their reading scores, while 72% improved their math scores. More than a third of our students met their expected growth goals in reading as set by national norms of iReady. One of the truisms about education is it's about relationships, and this past year we formalized our measurement of relationships by partnering with Panorama Education to survey our stakeholders. This partnership has already yielded a wealth of information. Even with strong supportive relationships in place, our partnership showed us that this is an area where we can and will always continue to grow. I do want to point out that because of strong support from our site leaders, we will be implementing a fall survey with students this year so that we can use the fall information to improve conditions for students throughout the year. Today, our campuses are back open and students are once again learning in the classroom which will allow us to achieve even more. This school year, we opened our new state-of-the-art campus, Justin Garza High School. Hundreds of freshmen and sophomores were welcomed onto campus. We have partnered with Fresno City College to launch our early college program, which will prepare our students for higher education. We've also implemented several support systems to help our students go further and reach even higher. This includes a new 24-7 tutoring service, free to all our Central Unified students. We know just how valuable the arts are for our students, and this year we're ecstatic for the grand return of our visual and performing arts. We already have multiple events lined up to showcase just how talented our students are. An art contest and showcase will be held at the Granville Teague Community Center for our elementary students this month. Our Central East High School students have been working hard on the musical of Mamma Mia, which the community will be able to enjoy starting this month. Many of our bands are also showing off their skills to the Central Valley throughout different competitions and band reviews. In agriculture, our students continue to demonstrate their commitment and drive. Central High School alum and Central Unified resident, Sierra Collier, was awarded the State Swine Production and Entrepreneurship Award this summer. She is now competing for the national title in this category. This year, our ag students are hitting the ground running. We wish our 58 students that are exhibiting livestock, floral, crops, and ag mechanic projects a great experience competing and presenting at the Big Fresno Fair. This includes Polk fourth grader Jade Bracamonte, who is showing and auctioning off her boar in the junior livestock category. This is her first time ever presenting at the fair. We've also made great strides towards introducing the Ag Pathway to more of our students by offering a new exploratory Ag elective class at each of our middle schools taught by our esteemed Central High Ag Department teachers. And in athletics, our students made major strides during an unconventional year for sports. Our boys track and field team took home top honors when they were crowned champions at the 2021 California State USATF Championships. Several of our other teams also received high marks for making it to the final rounds of competition, including boys basketball, boys soccer, girls golf, and Central Cheer. Central East High School student Paige Morales was also crowned the Fargo Duel National Champion. This year, middle and elementary school athletics are back. We also introduced a new sport to all three of our high schools, eSports. The student enthusiasm for this club has been incredible. The three teams are being coached by teachers at each school site. With the growing popularity of the sport and the increased availability of scholarships, we wanted to bring this activity to our students. This provides an opportunity for students who may not play traditional sports to experience that same sense of school connectedness. The pandemic presented challenges along the way, but our Central Unified team rose to the occasion. Our food and nutrition staff kept our students fueled, serving 1.6 million meals. To help fight back against COVID-19, Central Unified partnered with United Health Centers to provide vaccine clinics and surveillance testing for students, staff, and our community. And today we have launched our own testing facility for district students and staff. We continue hosting vaccination clinics on our campuses and informing the public about vaccination opportunities. We also have contract tracing teams who, along with our nurses, are working diligently to reduce the spread of COVID-19. If you get a call from one of them, please be patient and kind as they follow state orders. 
Even in a year like 2020, our community proved just how much they value education by passing Measure D. This bond will allow us to complete phase two of Justin Garza High School, which will add a visual and performing arts center along with an aquatic center. Measure D is also providing the district with necessary resources to expand and build a new elementary school. Additionally, funds will allow us to provide some needed upgrades for some of our older campuses. We are thankful for our community's support and value your input. That's why we're asking the community to help us decide how we should use our COVID funds. By working together, we can continue serving our students to the best of our abilities. Before we bring this to a close, I wanna thank each and every one of you for your contributions. Your donations, no matter the amount, have helped our students better focus in the classroom because they didn't have to worry about the clothes they were wearing. Your contributions have kept the holiday spirit alive for so many families by keeping them fed and keeping students warm during those chilly winter months. We've all heard the saying, teamwork makes the dream work. Through your support, we have all helped countless students achieve their dreams. Together, we can continue doing that for so many more. Thank you. Thank you.